Get in here. Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? The shed should have been safe. Are you happy? I could have died, you know. Well, you didn't. I just needed some help. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurker sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. 
And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. She needs to grow up sometime. You do not know what she needs! Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure, you are not to be trusted. Stay away from my daughter. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. Definitely. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were way out of line. You shouldn't have pointed that gun at me. I was hurt and needed help. And that's how you treat me? I was just... I know what you were trying to do. But that doesn't make it right. I could have died because of you. Whatever. Look, he means well. He just loses it sometimes. I try to avoid crazy people as much as possible. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So... What happened to your parents, if you don't mind me asking? I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey. I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him?
The same thing that happens to everyone, but he saved me first, lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah, he was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Luke invited me to stay. Good for him, but that's not how things work around here. We make decisions as a group, and you're wearing out your welcome. You got what you came here for. Now go. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. She's mean. I don't like her. She did come on a little strong. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and... Then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Oh, that's sad. Hey, why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And, of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I tried to apologize already. She ain't having it. Well, can you blame her? I want to hear the rest of the story. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. You should tell him that. Uncle Pete! Nick! 